I'm not sure if this is an Australian thing to do, but someone has parked the bike right on the rocks. Alright, I need to rewind a bit before I start the vlog. We thought of pranking our 9 year old son by not telling him about this trip till we were about to board the flight. Instead, we told him that we are going to the airport only to see off his mother as she is going on a business trip. Okay, we are just kidding. We are going to Sydney. Bronte Beach is a small and popular beach a couple of kilometers south of the more popular Bondi Beach. We did not plan for this in our trip but glad that we made it. The weather was good and it was fun flying a drone at the beach. And this is for all the drone enthusiasts. You can fly your drone at selected places in Australia and as long as you abide by all the drone safety rules. Australian government also has a mobile application that you can download on your phone to find all the fly and no fly zones. Queen Victoria Building or QVB as the locals call it, is an iconic heritage building of Sydney and Australia. Built in the 19th century, this Romanesque building was designed and still used as a marketplace. Well, what can I say about this icon, except that we thoroughly enjoyed photographing it. Sydney is home to some amazing art museums. The two that we checked out are Museum of Contemporary Art and Art Gallery of New South Wales. Sydney is filled with art and creativity, not just at the museums, but on the streets too. Bondi Beach, like all beaches around Australia, is a fun place to be at. It is an Australian national heritage and a place where we could have actually spent a whole day or two. But having said that, we still enjoyed it even with limited time in hand.
There are some amazing places to eat in Sydney. One place we will definitely recommend is Zumbo's Patisserie. We loved all the macaroons and pastries that we could try, especially we ate vanilla. Hyatt Regency, which is right next to Darling Harbour, a fun place to walk around at any hour of the day. There are a lot of activities to do here, both for kids and grown-ups. Kabir thoroughly enjoyed the Sea Life Aquarium, Wildlife Sydney Zoo and Madame Tussauds. So this happened at Madame Tussauds, where Hina and Kabir are trying hard to channel their inner Michael Jackson, but as you can see, the struggle is real. For us, the highlight of our trip was climbing to the top of the Sydney Harbour Bridge and we definitely recommend it. Hello, my name is Kabir. I'm from Singapore doing mountain like, bridge climbing and my parents are really crazy. They're really crazy. Luna Park is an amusement park built in the 1970s and probably hasn't changed much since then. Seems like the locals don't want to have it any other way and frankly speaking, we are glad about it because all the rides were like the time machine that took us back to the 70s. Thank you for watching and do share your travel stories in the comments below. Cheers!